I'm Carlton Sharp, pastor of Faith Christian Center Church right here in Beaumont, Texas. And we're here on what's happening in our neighborhood. And today my special guest is Stephen Doc Watson. Welcome, Doc. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, hey what, how did you get the name Doc? Well, I, uh, I worked for years helping to solve uh, problems with uh, customers and clients that might not have been happy. Uh -huh. And uh, they said, send them to Doc. Uh, he'll fix them and make them feel better. So it, <laughs> it kind of stuck. It stuck out. Yeah. So now everything is, everybody call you Doc. They call me Doc. <laughs> yeah. So Doc, what are we here for today? Well, uh, this morning I'd like to talk about a fantastic program here in Southeast Texas called Crime Stoppers. Crime Stoppers. Yes, sir. Now, many people don't understand what Crime Stoppers is, so can, let's, let's take a few moments to talk about what Crime Stoppers is. Okay. Uh, Crime Stoppers is actually a national program that has been in place for many, many years, and it was started here in Southeast Texas. Wow. And has spread to... Uh, uh, all three counties of uh, Jefferson, Orange, and Hardin County. And Crime Stoppers is a nonprofit program uh, where people can um, uh, work to make their communities safer. Yeah, yeah. And um, it has many different facets, but it's a fantastic program, and I just consider it a real blessing and a privilege to be able to volunteer my time to Crime Stoppers and the community. Now, it's also about preventing crime. That's very important. Yeah. Because a, a lot of people know that Crime Stoppers is about uh, leaving a tip to solve a crime. Right. Okay. However, what's really important is preventing crime. Mm -hmm. Because we want to do everything we can to pr prevent people from taking that fork in the road that may take them into the criminal justice system instead of, of, of living a peaceful life right. with their neighbors. Right, I like to say it like this, Doc. Life is choice driven. We live and die by the choices that we make. And so what Crime Stoppers, part of Crime Stoppers is, is to help people, hey, listen, it's a choice that you make. And so you try, you're trying to help them prevent them from making the crime, taking that step into the criminal activity. That's correct. And and it's so very important and for children at a younger and younger age now that have an opportunity to take that wrong path and perhaps through some of the efforts that Crime Stoppers offers um, in addition to other things in our community we can help them make that early yeah, right choice. Yeah, yeah, that's good. But it's all Crime Stoppers is also about getting the bad guys off the street. There are some <laughs> There are some bad guys out there. Yeah, yeah. There there are. There there have been some uh, uh serious crimes committed in Southeast Texas and Crime Stoppers provides a way that someone can report information about a crime completely anonymous yeah. with no risk of being discovered that they made that report uh -huh. and in return for that can receive a cash reward of up to a thousand dollars. Wow and that would help bring justice to the families and the victims that have, have been uh, uh, contacted with crime. Yes you know that's a that's a heavy thing to think about however when someone has been the victim of a crime or their family member may have been victimized by a crime, there can be some sense of, of satisfaction and peace and closure wow. yeah. to that horrific episode yeah. if they know that justice did prevail. Yeah, that's good, that's good, Doc. Now, so, so talk about the process. How, how does the process of Crime Stoppers actually work? Well, it's a very simple process. Um, most everyone is familiar with the uh, ads on uh, through our, our media partners on television and radio and in print of the, of the, of the 833 tips, uh -huh. okay? So uh, what you can do is if you have information about a crime, uh -huh. even perhaps even before that crime is committed. Oh, that's good, yeah, yeah. But if a crime is committed and you have information about that crime, you can call 833 TIPS and report that information. And if that person or persons that have committed that crime 
are arrested, uh -huh. not wait until they are convicted. Wow. If they are arrested, then you would be contacted and you could uh, uh, go through the process, uh -huh. which I'll explain, yeah, yeah. to receive a cash reward for that tip. Wow. So, so, so the key that you just said is that it is completely anonymous. You know, I've only been on the board of Crime Stoppers for less than two years, uh -huh. and one of the first things I learned about was the system of how to keep a tipster anonymous, and it's absolutely brilliant. Wow. And it's one of the things that I'm most excited about because this has been worked out over decades. So they just plug it in and it works. So for instance, let's say um, we saw uh, someone that, uh, that had committed a crime or we knew who had committed a uh -huh. crime and we call the 833 TIPS number. And, and that right. number is 833-8477. 8477. <laughs> you, know, you know, they be looking for tips. Yeah, 833-8477. It's right there on the bottom of your screen. And you, <laughs> and you report that, you report that information. Uh -huh. The person taking that information does not have your name and does not even keep the phone number that it was called in on. That is scrubbed. Wow. That's, you are completely anonymous. Wow. Well, then the question comes up, well, if someone is arrested, how would I get, you know, my cash reward? Right, right, well, right. Well, what happens is, is you monitor the news, you watch the, the TV, the, listen to the radio, and, and when you see that person has been arrested, you contact Crime Stoppers again. Uh -huh. Once again, they don't have your name, they don't have your phone number, and they give you a code, uh -huh. a coded number. You take that coded number to one of two area banks. Wow. You go to the drive through uh -huh. You don't give them your name. You don't give them your phone number. You don't give them any information. You just say, Crime Stoppers tip, and you give them the number. Right. They take that in to a couple of people in the bank that are privileged to the Crime Stopper tip numbers. Uh -huh. They look it up, they write a check, they cash that check, and they send the cash out to you. Wow. Without ever knowing your name, who you are, or your phone number. Completely anonymous. It's okay. a brilliant system. Okay, so Doc, let me, let me make sure I, well, I got this correct. So, a tip's to the call, 833-8477. Yes. 833-TIPS. Yes. They report a crime. Information, in, information about, about a crime. crime that could lead to someone being arrested. Right. All right. So at that moment, they give them a code. Not then. Not then. That person. Have to call back. Has to call back. After the arrest is made. When the arrest is made. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Then they get the tip number. Okay. The code number, the I'm code sorry. The code number. And they take that code number to a bank and they get the cash. Wow. No one ever knows your name. No one ever knows the phone number that you called in on. That is completely scrubbed out of the system. Okay, so so how will a person know the amount of the reward that comes with that? That's an excellent question. The board of directors meets each month, and we discuss the uh, reward amounts because we want to make sure that that is always fair and in proportion to the severity of the crime. Uh -huh and we have to report a record of those amounts. Right, right. And um, according to the severity of the crime, when you call in and you get your code number, you're told at that time, this tip will pay $1,000, this right, tip will right. pay $500. Now, the Crime Stoppers themselves um, will set an amount up to $1,000. Uh -huh. However, local businesses and local individuals have been so passionate about solving some of the crimes that have been committed against their businesses, they yeah. have upped that amount wow. to as high as $10,000. Okay, so, okay, Doc, so, so you said that once a month the board meets to determine the, 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 the amount. amounts of the tips okay. that, are, that they're, they're recommended to be paid out at a certain amount, and, okay. and we approve that. So if a crime happened today mm -hmm. and a person calls tips today, mm -hmm. then they have to wait a month before they, 
or determine what the not. well they would they would need to wait until the arrest was right. made and, and the arrest is made let's say right. and the arrest is made before the then meets again. yes then there's about a 30 at least a 30 day cycle yeah that's that's what I was getting at because we want to make sure that this is fair it's above board and we comply with all the regulations and everybody gets a fair shake yeah, because I, I I want to make sure to get clarity because I don't want people thinking that I could call today, they arrest somebody today, and then next week I, I could go and get a get a check. Yeah, it's uh, not an instant process, right. but um, we are paying out tens of thousands of dollars each year in uh, in tips that people have just simply called in to do a community service, and and I'd like to just address the elephant in the room. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> And the elephant in the room is snitching on somebody. Yeah, yeah. Okay? And um, I grew up in a culture to where if you were uh, a tattletale or you were a snitch that you were looked down on. Right, right. And I understand that. However, if an elderly person in their bed at night is assaulted and tied up with an extension cord and beat within an inch of their life, then I don't consider it a snitch to call in and if I had information that would help prevent that from happening to some other elderly yeah. person yeah. or that could bring justice to the family. Yeah, because it's, maybe it's that, my family that, that's affected by it. You bet. Wow. You I bet. want somebody who have information to call in. And um, everyone has to make that own judgment in their own heart about whether or not they are going to report a tip or not. But, but, but it goes back to what you said earlier, Doc, is that it is completely anonymous. It's completely anonymous. You know? So, I mean, if, if, if a person anonymous. has information about a crime, then call in, you know, and report it because it's going to make all of us safer. You know, there are many people in the community that even if there wasn't any cash reward, yeah. and they knew something that may help prevent a crime or bring justice or get a criminal off the street, they would call in anyway. But now, now Doc, you don't, you, you don't even have to call anymore. You have an app now. You got, we have an app for everything. <laughs> Talk to you us bet. about the app, Doc. You bet. <laughs> there is an amazing app called the P3 app. It's by Anderson Software. P3 app. It's all over the United States. They have all the bugs worked out of it. It's been in place for years. And the P3 app allows someone to pick up their phone and touch the P3 app icon, enter their personal code number that they've set up. They can report a crime and do live chat with someone on the other end completely anonymously. In other words, let's just say that you had information about a, uh, a, a, a terrible assault that had been committed. You can touch the P3 app and say, I know who committed this assault and I know where they are right now. I am watching them as they enter the wow. grocery store. Wow. Their, their license number on their car is this, and no one on the other end knows your phone number or who you are. Wow. And look, it's so simple. I, look, I just did it on my phone. The P3 it, app. It, it, it's that simple. I just went to my app store, put P3 in there, and P3 tips came right up. Yeah. Wow. And, and in a minute, we'll talk about the application of the P3 app in our local school system. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we'll get there when you <laughs> want to get there, Pastor. All well, right. Hey, you already know, Doc. Go ahead, go ahead and jump right in now. <laughs> there is a new fantastic program that is in the process right now of being introduced in all of the high schools in three counties in wow. Southeast Texas. And, of course, you know, the younger people are just are so tech savvy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they do know all about yeah, these they, things. Yeah, they do. <laughs> so they're already using uh -huh. the, the, the P3 app. And a, uh, a student could be sitting anywhere in school, wow. and let's say that they saw a teacher being threatened. Yeah. Or, 
You know, the kids know everything. They know what's going on. Let's say that a young person had confided in a friend that they were contemplating suicide. Wow. Or let's say that someone was being terribly abused at home and one of their classmates knew about that. Or if they know somebody that wants to come and shoot the school up. Or on the other end of that yeah. spectrum, someone that has threatened to right. or someone that has brought a, uh, a weapon into the school or um, some horrific crime uh, that could be committed. They can simply touch that P3 app and enter that information to a live person and that can be handled immediately. Wow. And that also goes to the prevention factor. Yeah, yeah. Because let's just say you and I were uh, in the cafeteria and we knew we were surrounded by 150 of our friends with the P3 app and we were thinking about pulling <laughs> some crazy stunt. You would do it. <laughs> we may not pull that crazy stunt. Exactly, exactly. Okay. And, and, and the P3 it's absolutely anonymous also. Completely anonymous. <laughs> you, can, you can actually chat with someone on the P3 app and they don't know who you are or the phone number that you're using. Wow. And it, look, again, it is so simple. I, I'm, I'm sitting right here and we're talking about this thing and I, I went in on my, on my app store. Whether you have an Android device or an Apple device, just go to your app store, put in P3 uh, and it's going to come up P3 tips, download it. To your, to your phone, and it's there. And it's is that, there. Is, is that easy? It's that easy. It's that easy. And this kind of segues into um, how the Crime Stoppers is actually funded. Yeah. It is a, a nonprofit, and we are dependent on donations and contributions and sponsorship and grants. Uh -huh. And Crime Stoppers receives a small amount of, uh, amount of money through the court system, okay. and that, by law, is designated only for paying for the uh, rewards. Okay. Okay? That's a very small part of our budget. So I'm going to appeal to everyone to contribute to your community safety and uh, contribute to Crime Stoppers. And if that can be a small amount of money, uh, God bless you if it can be you volunteering to help. That's good, that's good. Okay, because we've got a tiger by the tail with this school program. Uh -huh. We have schools that are knocking on our door saying we want the program in our school, we want it now. Wow. And you know, it's all about bodies and balances. Yeah, yeah. All right, we need the physical help to be able to spread this information and we need the money to manage the program yeah. because it's growing real fast. And, and so, so if you have a small business out there, and you're a small business owner, hey, listen, this this is a good way to support the community by giving to Crime Stoppers. Uh, if you are, if you're just a, a, a part of the community and just you want, to, want to donate, no donation is too small. You bet. You know, and, and you and you can call the uh, administration number, the four zero nine three 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 four zero eight eight. Yeah, and. Uh, ask how you can contribute and become a, a business sponsor. Yeah. There are some benefits to that besides just contributing to your That's community. That's good. That's good. But with this school program, we need some help. We're, we're spread thin and, and, and we're, running, we're running fast because it is, it is being adopted by all of the high schools. And even within the schools, uh, they're setting up Crime Stopper clubs just like you know, you would have a debate club, right, or you right, would right. have a foreign language club. You'd, they'll have a crime stoppers club. And there are even uh, uh, some it's young good. people that are in school now that want to go into the criminal justice law enforcement field. And uh, by participating in the school crime stoppers program, they can have opportunities to do that. Wow. That is, that is good. That's another path for them to take, and that's the path we, <laughs> we want them to take at the fork in the road. So, so if you want to donate, again, let me get, we're going to put the number back on the bottom of the screen. It's 409-338-4088 to call the Administration of Crime Stoppers to, uh, to uh, uh, be a sponsor, to donate. Volunteer. Uh, to volunteer. You get information. You get information. You bet. You know, you uh, bet. Any, anything that's administrative, you can call that number. Again, that number is 409 Three 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 four zero eight eight.
Now, now that's not the tip line. Now yeah. again, here's the tip number. It's 409 tips 8477. Uh, 409, I'm sorry, 833 tips. 409 833 tips or 8477. Uh, yeah. Now, now Doc, you you go around the community spreading this word about tips. We do have seminars. outreach. Yeah. So we talk to us outreach. about that. Well, uh, but before I talk about the outreach, leading into outreach, I want everyone to know that Crime Stoppers is not a program of the uh, Beaumont Police Department. Okay. Oh, now, of good. course, there, there are, are partners. Our, our partner and, and Carol Riley um, does a fantastic job, along with other people in the Beaumont Police Department, of appearing and making the announcements uh, about the, the, the rewards and the crimes. But this is not just a Beaumont Police Department program. We have the police departments in Port Arthur. We have the sheriff's departments in three counties. We've got all of our local law That's enforcement good. are supporting partners. So if you're just not in Beaumont proper, Crime Stoppers is still a very important program uh, for us to partner with our law enforcement uh, friends uh, and colleagues to help make our community safer. Okay, and that's a great point, uh, Doc. So let me ask this question with that in mind. So if a person is in Lumberton or Silsby and want to provide a tip for something that happened in their community, yes. can they still call this 833 yes, tips that's number? This, yes, this, the, the 833 that's tips, that is the central tip number to call, so, regardless of what county you live in, if it's Orange, Jefferson, or Hardin County. That's good. You so, bet. So, so those of you who are, are not in, in Jefferson County, not in Beaumont, you can still use this same number, 409-833-8477, to report in your area That's uh, right. the, the crime That's right. that, that has uh, uh, taken place. Yeah. And uh, it will get back to you bet. that city or that county and, and uh, those law enforcement officials. You bet. We have almost 20 law enforcement affiliate agencies besides Beaumont Police Department. And that's, that, man, that's good. Yeah, and we're, we're just, we're, we're partnering together. So um, you had asked about outreach. Yes. And um, I'm just going to go right to the top of the list. <laughs> All right. A man that I am most proud of. To, to say that I know and that I so admire. And he is a retired Beaumont police officer named Al Johnson. Uh -huh. And most people know Al Johnson because Al um, not only had uh, spent uh, 30 years on Beaumont Police Department, but Al's um, a partner at uh, BPD was the bloodhound Liz. And everybody remembers <laughs> Liz, the bloodhound. And when they had to track someone, Liz was the one that would find uh -huh. them. So Al has retired now. And through a uh, grant, what Crime Stoppers has done is, mostly because it was Al's idea, is um, we have had built a custom trailer with a small replica of a home on that trailer. And Al has completely equipped that system with all kinds of items that a homeowner might use to keep their windows locked, or to what, where to put a camera, or what kind of a safety mechanism to use to keep a door from opening. And um, Al's the kind of guy that he's not just going to uh, equip that thing with a bunch of expensive equipment. Yeah, Al has researched for a long time, and he, he, he did this through Beaumont Police Department too, and he is finding things that can cost less than $20 Wow, that can help someone keep their home, their business, and their family wow. safe. And he demonstrates those by, by bringing that trailer display around. He'll bring it to events, he'll bring it to churches, he'll bring it to neighborhood associations. Civic organizations. Where civic <laughs> organ wherever they need to be, um, Al will, will bring that house and that trailer. And Al also does a static uh, demonstration on tables, like if you have a, a meeting at the Elegante and Al can come in and make a Crime Stoppers safety presentation. Wow. Now, is that not good or what? Wow, that is excellent. <laughs> Al is number one on number one on my list. 
number so, one on my list. So, so I mean, you're you're. I mean, you're not just saying call the crime stoppers. You're going out in the community and saying, hey, listen. Here's some safety tips for you that you might want to look at in order to make our community safer. Just help people become safer and more secure. And, um, you know, we have our, our elderly people. We have people living alone. We have well, working people that may just have an apartment. Uh, there may be uh, single men, single women uh, that just, it's just them and, and their place of where they live. And Crime Stoppers wants to provide them with all the information that we can yeah. to help make themselves safe and give them that peace of mind that can come from knowing they've done everything they can to secure their home and their vehicle and their person. You know, somebody might ask the question now, does Crime, Stopper, crime Stoppers really work? <laughs> hey, they, hey uh, uh, Doc, they might ask that question. Does it really work? Well, not only does it <laughs> does it really work, it works because of people like yourself that are helping us spread the word and helping us draw volunteers and draw do donations so that it can work even better. Yeah. Yes, and, and when a community comes together and get involved in every aspect of it, man, yes. What kind of city would Beaumont be? What okay. kind of community would Jefferson County, Hardin County, or Orange County be? So one of the reasons I'm on the board of Crime Stoppers is because I'm all about firearm safety and firearm responsibility. Yeah. So Crime Stoppers offers free gun locks to anyone that if you have a firearm in your home and you need a way to wow. lock that so that it be can become safe so that a child or an unauthorized person can't get their hands on it That's or good. hurt themselves or someone else, we're offering free, free gun locks. We also sponsor a Gun 250 program. And um, if you'll go to the website, to the uh, Crime Stoppers of Southeast Texas, uh, there'll be all of this information of the different programs that we offer to help keep our community safer. And uh, I'm out uh, uh, preaching the gospel of <laughs> responsible firearm yeah, ownership. Yeah. Guns are being stolen at a rate, and I'm gonna have to be careful so that I don't preach, all right? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guns are being stolen currently <laughs> in Southeast Texas at a rate of about one a day. Wow. Which means that the, the good guys that own firearms yeah. are making it easy for bad guys to get a firearm. And that's not right, it's not responsible, and it's easily fixed. So Al, they could call the administrative number and get a, a gun lock? Yes, they can. So, yes, they so, can. so if you need a gun lock, you bet. 409-338-4088. It's that simple. It's that simple. It's that simple. We also appear at very events, you know, the Cops and Kids Carnival and things like that. And uh, we have our Crime Stoppers display and we give away not only free gun locks, but we have materials for children, coloring books that are gun safety related to teach children if they're in the presence of a firearm, stop, don't touch, yeah. leave the area, and tell an adult. Wow. And we have coloring books and materials for kids because it's a horrific thing for a child to be harmed by a gun. Right. It's a horrific thing for a criminal to have access to a firearm and use it against a defenseless law-abiding citizen. So we need to do everything we can to make sure that firearms are only in the hands of responsible people and not the bad guys and not the children. Well, well, Doc, can we get a coloring book for the adults that leave their weapons in their car, unsecured? Well, let's and talk about that just a minute. <laughs> we might need a coloring book for that one, Doc. <laughs> well, I can tell you what the colors are. Black and blue from what your head should look like yeah. for leaving a gun in a car and leaving it unlocked. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, but the, we got the statistics for 2018. And of the people that reported a firearm that, that, stolen from their yeah, vehicle. reported. Of the people that reported a firearm stolen from a vehicle, the majority of those vehicles were unlocked. Ooh. So there's no excuse for that. Ooh. However, for $20, you can buy a small steel pistol safe with a stainless steel cable that you loop under your seat. And let's say that you do have a license to carry and you can carry a firearm. Mm -hmm. But when you go to the post office, you can't take it in. 
So instead of just leaving it in your console, leave it in your glove box or under your seat, which by the way are the three places that the criminals look when they break in your car, you can put it in this small steel box and cover that little box up for the short period of time that you're out of your vehicle. You don't leave it in your vehicle overnight. You, if you go to a, out of town to a motel or a hotel, you don't leave it in your vehicle to be stolen. For only $20 at local stores in this area and online, you can get a small handgun safe. Wow. That will prevent smashing grabs which most of the thefts out of a vehicle that are locked can be prevented, very simply, for $20. But they could call the, the administrative number and get a free lock. They can get a, <laughs> they can, they can get a free lock. This is a, a little bit different kind of lock in that you, can, you could leave this uh, firearm in your vehicle for a short period of time and it would prevent a smash and grab. Gotcha. Okay. Um, there's just simply no excuse for making a firearm easily accessible to a bad guy. So I'm talking to all of my Second Amendment brothers out there right now yeah, yeah, that believe it. in the constitutional right to own a firearm. With rights come responsibilities, and I'm begging you, be responsible and don't make it easy for bad guys to get your guns. Hey, listen, Doc, we got to wrap up in just a second, but hey, give us a rundown again for, uh, uh, for, the, for the people. Well, Crime Stoppers is a local program where you can help prevent crime, where you can report crimes and receive up to $1,000 cash and be totally anonymous. The tip number is 833-TIPS. And we need your help with our school program, we need your help with our outreach programs, and you can call our Crime Stoppers office here in Beaumont at 409-333-4088 to volunteer and to contribute. And God bless you if you do. Hey, listen, let's get involved in, in our community. And here's a great opportunity uh, to be involved with something that will benefit all of us. Again, it's Crime Stoppers. Uh, the number is 8. 833-TIPS, 409-833-TIPS. Uh, we put it right there on the bottom of your screen that you can call, and that the TIPS is 8477. Uh, so if you know of a crime uh, and you have information that will be relevant to, to the police uh, solving this crime, call TIPS. It's absolutely anonymous. Nobody gets your name. Uh, nobody gets your number. Uh, it's absolutely anonymous so that you can... Uh, get a reward? Uh, get a reward. Up to $1,000 cash. Up to $1,000 cash money. Uh, now, now again, as we say, stated earlier in the broadcast, it, it is not an overnight process. So don't think that it's going to be in a day or two or three. It, it, it's a process, but but it's a good process. And it's working. And it's working. We're paying them. <laughs> we're paying tips. In fact, today I'm going to a meeting, and we're going to be looking at all the recommended tips and the amounts, and we're gonna we're gonna start paying those tips. Wow. Wow, but again, this is a great way to uh, to be involved. Now, if you want to go to the website, it's 833tips.com, 833tips.com. I know it's not on the bottom of the screen, but that's just, just for you to know, uh, 833tips.com, that's the website. Uh, again, the administrative number is 409. Let's see if I can put that back on the screen. <laughs> and and, and uh, we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. I'm gonna give you this, this dot .com number, this dot .com uh, in just a second. Uh, here it is right here. Here's the website, 833tips.com. Look at that, technology, 833tips.com. Here's the number for the administrative offices, 409-338-4088. If you want them to come out and do a, 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 a give you information about uh, Crime Stoppers at your church, at your civic organizations, at your school, uh, they're willing to come out and share that with you. If you Again, if you want to report a crime, 833tips. There it, is, there it is at the bottom of your screen, uh, TIPS 8477. All right. Well, I want to thank Doc for coming today and sharing with us all this great information about Crime Stoppers. And I want to thank you for joining us on what's happening in our neighborhood. And we will see you next time on a broadcast.